Good afternoon, guys. So I wanted to talk about tomatoes again. I know. Tomatoes, tomatoes, tomatoes. That's all it seems we people talk about in the, this time of year. But we all love our tomatoes. We really do. So uh, I don't want to sound like I'm on my soapbox. If I could talk this morning. But here's the thing. Um, tomatoes. Especially these are my sun gold. These are like my favorite tomatoes of all time. And you could tell when they're done, they're this beautiful color. Now, see this one, this would be like the kind you would get at the store, right? Beautiful, round, ready to eat, stem still on, a gorgeous tomato. Let's see if I can find one that's not like you would find at the store, huh? Here's one right here. Oh, with a slug on it, too. Is that a snail? <laughs> Stupid slugs. They're eating everything. All right. So now if you were at the store, you wouldn't eat this one. However, if you look at it, look at it closely, and make sure there's no mold, there's no dirt in it, and I've been eating these ones, and normally when I go through, I eat these. However, when I save these tomatoes, I cut them in half anyway, so I'm going to use these. I'm not going to throw these away. Because the way I save them is almost like a sun-dried tomato. Um, I've made a video on it. You'll have to go back and look through their, their freezer. So what I do is I wash them. I keep these ones. I cut them in half. I lay them out on a dehydrator. And I dehydrate them till they're tacky. Not completely dried. Because I don't want them completely dried. And then I lay them out on a cookie sheet. And I put them in the freezer. And then after they're frozen, then I take them off the cookie sheet. And I put them in a um, Ziploc baggie. And they keep all winter. And the thing about not dehydrating them all the way is that they take less juice, water to fill up, but they taste just like they do today. And I like to throw them in with pesto when I make sauces for pasta, um, uh, creamy chicken thighs that I put uh, spinach and these into. Um, they're, they're amazing. Absolutely amazing. And if I threw away all of the tomatoes that were like this, I could probably throw away half a gallon. But I don't want to throw away half a gallon. Uh, I could tell you a hundred years ago, we use these. We're just so used to looking at the way that our vegetables are supposed to be perfectly round or perfectly square. Or <clears throat> if you've ever talked to somebody who comes and like goes either berry picking, strawberries specifically, <clears throat> and, and they come and they see these little tiny strawberries and they're like, what's wrong with the strawberries? What's wrong with your strawberries? I'm like, nothing's wrong with my strawberries they're just not commercially grown to be huge and then you taste my strawberries or anyone's strawberries who grows them fresh out of the garden and they taste so much better than your store-bought um don't get me wrong these other tomatoes that aren't cracked that I can use in salads and I can eat just in a bowl sitting on the counter this week they're perfectly fine too they taste just as good but these ones I'm going to be able to put up these ones I'm going to eat. And if I get too many to eat and I can't eat them all, I'll cut them in half and I'll dehydrate them. Uh, this time of year, my dehydrator runs almost 24-7 because there's so much stuff. I've got my parsley in there I need to harvest and dehydrate. I'll probably do that tomorrow after work. Um, I've got my beans growing up on a vine, which is great because they seeded from last year. And I'm not going to eat them this year. They're drying beans. I think they might actually be either calypso or pinto i won't know till i open the seed pods but they've still got time to dry and if it stays this humid nothing out here is ever going to dry <laughs> everything will be coming in to get dehydrated um i make cucumber powder with my cucumbers which i put into like ranch dressing homemade ranch dressing um soups i put it in there nobody knows it's in there it's really good for you i've still got to harvest my burdock root uh catnips ready and there's a good sign that fall's coming you see them Aren't they beautiful? They must have heard me. Oh, here come more. We have a family that always comes here in the spring. And I keep looking for them. Oh, not that I'm going to recognize them. They all look the same now. But it's time for them to start flocking up. The sandhill cranes are still here. So it's not that time yet. But in the spring and sometimes in the fall when you look out in the pasture, there'll be hundreds of geese out there. And geese primarily eat grass. They can eat all the grass. 
mow it down again before fall start or winter gets here and they poop so they fertilize my fields so I'm more than happy to have them out there I mean I don't have anything in here that I'd really come in here to eat my willow trees losing their leaves blue jays up there last year I had corn in here and uh red-winged blackbirds came and ate all of it I have not seen them this year that's so bizarre I wonder what's going on because way back there is our swamp, and the red-winged blackbirds uh, nest in there. Big, huge colony of them. I mean, just tons of them. I'm sure it's not a colony. I'm sure they're all just nesting. But, no, they kind of do nest, like, in colonies. Not necessarily, like, I don't know if they would technically be a colony, but they like to nest near each other, so I call it a colony. Me, the teacher, not using correct terminology. There you go. Anyway, that, uh, I just wanted to talk about the tomatoes and how don't throw stuff away just because you think... Um, it's not perfectly looking. Just because it's not perfect looking doesn't mean it's not good for you, nutritious, and I've already grabbed one of my lettuce seed pods. Doesn't mean it's not still good for you. So, there you go. Don't throw away your tomatoes. As long as they're not moldy or nasty, but this humid weather, see that one is starting to crack there. The one, right, this one, right? Not that one, not that one, but this one. You can see it's starting to crack. So, don't throw them away, use them. If you leave them out here too long, they'll be unusable. But you'll be able to tell they'll be black and icky and slimy and nasty. So just don't eat the nasty ones. Have a good day, guys. Bye.